Hey guys, Derek here again. So today we're going to be talking about how to strum up and down. So for the past three lessons you've been working on just strumming all downstrokes on some easy open chords. So now we're going to take those open chords and we're going to start strumming down and up with them. That's what you're going to do when you start playing songs. So we're going to just use E, A, and D, or E major, A major, and D major. Um, and let's start off with E major and A major. We're going to strum those two chords. And what you're going to do is you're going to strum down, up, down, up, four pairs of down ups on each chord. Now to begin with, what you might want to do is just kind of do that. And then take as long as you need to to change over to A major. And strum four pairs of down ups on that chord. And just go back and forth between those two chords until you get comfortable with that. Now, when you do down and up strumming, one thing that you want to be aware of is that on the downstroke, you are going to hit all the strings. But on the upstroke, don't feel like you need to force the pick across all the strings. That's one thing that I've seen students do early on. And the upstroke is more like sort of a swooping motion. And a lot of times, you only hit like the bottom three or four strings um, on the guitar. So that is the uh, first, second, third, and maybe the fourth string on the upstroke. So when you're strumming naturally, that is kind of what happens. You don't really need to think about it too much. Just make sure that you're not trying to drag the pick across all six strings on the upstroke. So just real quick, let's try that together. So one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. Switch to A major, four pairs of down ups. OK, so now in the audio file, you're going to do that a few times, um, but uh, for right now, just kind of do that on your own a couple times and uh, just until you get comfortable with it. Now, once you're comfortable with the change, now let's go and try just switching right from one chord to the other. So basically like this, three, four, four pairs of down ups, and right to A. So not a lot of time to switch between the chords. There is actually a little trick that we're going to talk about in the next lesson. So once you're comfortable with doing that with E to A, then try with A to D. Same thing, four pairs of down ups. Three, four. Down, up. And now to D. Now again, before you try that, you want to make sure you should just run through A four times, four pairs of down ups, and then take as much time as you need to switch to D. And then once you can do that, then try actually doing the really quick switch between the two. Last one that we're going to do is E major to D major. So just four pairs of down ups, and then the D. Okay, so the other thing that we're going to talk about this week is the uh, pentatonic scales. Last lesson I had you do the minor pentatonic scale. So this week we're going to do one of the other scales, and what we're going to do is the position four pentatonic scale. So take a look at your book, get familiar with that pattern. So it's basically second and fourth finger, second and fourth finger again, first and fourth, first and fourth, second and fourth, second and fourth. So we're going to start with your second finger on the fifth fret, and you're going to be playing frets five and seven, five and seven, and then four and seven, four and seven, five and seven, five and seven. So this first time through, we'll do it in uh, half notes, so two beats on each note. One, two, three, four. Now to the seventh fret, next string down, fifth fret, seventh, next string down, fourth fret, seventh. fifth and seventh again, and so play that note again, seventh fret, and back up the strings, seventh and fourth, okay, so now in the audio file I'll go through it in half notes and then in quarter notes. You're going to want to play that as much as you can in quarter notes. Um, now, 
that scale, you're using your second and fourth finger quite a bit. And that's actually a really good thing because your second and fourth finger are very important in playing chords and doing melodies, guitar riffs, anything on the guitar. So the more you can practice those weaker fingers, the quicker you'll get better at just about anything. So to wrap up, basically for this lesson, you're going to practice E to A, A to D, and then E to D, strumming down and up. And then also practice that pentatonic scale. Keep practicing the one that you learned in the last lesson, the minor pentatonic scale. And if you have any problems at all with the chord exercises, go ahead and keep doing those E major, A major, and D major chord exercises we did.